Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about why you might want to use a tripod. So I'm Daniel Norton, photographer here in New York. If you are interested in photography and the arts, that kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe. It's Five Minute Friday, so we'll see if we can get this done in five minutes. I was looking for five reasons, but maybe I'll come up with the fifth one by the end. But I, I thought of four things right off the top of my head, why I use a tripod and why I think it's a good idea. Now, I get that uh, a lot of people don't like to use tripods, right? There's this idea that like it slows you down. And probably if you don't use a tripod a lot, it does take a little getting used to. I'm not going to deny that. Um, it might feel like it's slower at first, uh, but once you get used to using a tripod, I guarantee you it doesn't really slow you down. If anything, it kind of speeds you up because with the tripod in place, you don't have to constantly be worrying about where the camera is. If you're going to move around and change lights, you're going to grab things, do this, you never have to think about the camera. It's on the tripod, right? It doesn't have, it's, it's, it's there, right? So. I'm just going to get out of the way to start off with the number one reason, number one reason, I shouldn't say it like that. The first thing is stability, right? That's, that one's pretty obvious. Yes, cameras have uh, VR and VR, is that the uh, vibration reduction? Yeah. Uh, or whatever they want to call it, right? They have, so you don't shake, right? Anti-shake stuff built in. Some of them are on the sense, inside the body. Some of them are, you know, in the lens. Some have both. And those things help, right? But even with that kind of thing, Really long exposures are not really going to be the, the ideal, like they're not going to be perfect, right? If I put a camera on a tripod, I can basically guarantee that if I'm shooting a long exposure, unless I'm some, like on a subway platform or shaking, it's going to be stable, right? It's just an easy way to add stability, and that's the most obvious one, right? The, the less obvious one, I think, to, and the, probably one of the main reasons why I like to use a tripod is consistency. I, when I first started in my career, I worked as a photo assistant for a lot of advertising people, catalog people, then went on to do that work myself. And I learned from them that the camera on the tripod keeps things in the same place. So when the art director is looking, they know what they're getting, right? They're going to know what, when you frame it up and you're like, okay, this is the shot, that when the model gets back on set and they start doing different poses and you're capturing different uh, images, then it's always going to be that same framing, right? That way they can really look at it because art directors love to look at the background. They love to see what's there. They want to see this, all this stuff. This is just a way to keep things consistent. That is a huge factor, consistency. Another thing, which again, if you're working on a set with multiple people, is safety. I shoot tethered, right? A lot of people shoot tethered. Back in the day, even before we shot tethered, even with film, we had sync cords running everywhere. There's lots of cords and stuff that are running around. If your camera's on a tripod and if you are tethering, you know, you can lay the cable down and leave it kind of in one spot. You don't have to worry about yanking on it and pulling on it because you're on a tripod, right? You don't have to worry about people tripping on the cable because you could even go as far as taping it down if you really needed to, depending on how busy your set was, right? So there's a safety aspect of using the tripod. Another thing is a tripod, and this is super important for people that do things like I do where we shoot video and stuff, is that a tripod is a second set of hands, right? I can set up a tripod and have another camera doing BTS, let's say, if you didn't do you know videos like I do, instructional videos, or maybe even on a remote shooting. A lot of sports photographers did that. When I uh, was an assistant, I didn't shoot a lot of sports myself, but I used to work for a guy, and we did a lot of uh, basketball, and we would set up cameras all over the place. They weren't always on tripods, but they were on grip arms and whatever, but same kind of concept. We would put them all over the stadium and use pocket wizards where they could be fired remotely, or sometimes they would fire when the camera itself fired. So it just gave you that extra set of hands. It's like it's like an extra person shooting when you have the tripod there. So that's the thing, guys. Like tripods are a tool, right? They might seem like, oh, I got to carry this extra thing, but once you have the tripod there, you're basically in the position where you can create consistent images. You can add safety to your set. You can leave the camera there and walk away. You can do all these things and never have to worry about, uh, you know, oh, where's my camera and what's going on? Am I going to have the same set? Now, let me talk quickly about speed. The way that I shoot, and again, it comes down to how you shoot. Once I'm set up on, on, uh, on the set, I don't really change my composition so much, right? Because again, for that consistency thing comes with part of how I set up my thing. Yes, the model's moving around in the frame, but generally speaking, if I'm doing a, a commercial job, once my composition is set, it's set, right? Which means that if I'm on a tripod, I can actually shoot faster because I don't have to keep recomposing to make sure that, you know, as I drift, as I move, if I look at the back of the camera, if I talk to somebody, if the art director says something to me, I can actually even be at the computer shooting, right? I can, and one popular thing that I do, popular, one thing that I do a lot with, with portraits it, to keep the, um, to keep the flow going, so I treat a portrait like a communication, like a conversation, 
is I will often have the camera on a tripod, get everything set, finger on the trigger, right? And I will just stand next to the camera and have a conversation with my subject while I'm shooting. This actually makes the shoot go faster because they loosen up. So in a sense, while I did spend that little bit of extra time setting up in the beginning, so maybe that took a little bit longer, the overall shoot, I get to my images faster because I can have that really clean communication with my subject. So let me know what you guys think. Do you use tripods? Do you not use tripods? Uh, put comments below. I'm actually working on a video about different types of tripods, so look for that, and I'll see you next time.